in thinking about how to open this video, you know, I don't have the right way. And I'm opening it up just like this. We don't deserve this anime. This anime is absolutely effing hilarious. The way that this anime opened with suggestive noises and grunts and our homeboy Ray is just working out with his roommate. I have some feelings about that too because it wasn't exactly like workout equipment, you know? So it's like, mm, it's a little sketch, a little sus, you know what I mean? But hey, you know what? Do you, if Ru if Ruby boy makes you happy, go for it, bro. You know what I mean? Touch each other's muscles. No judgment zone. But the way that it opened, I even I was like taken aback. I was like, the heck? I was like, what the? What am I watching? And then I was like, oh yeah, I clicked on Ice Blade Sorcerer. And then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 Ray White. Ray White, we're back here with our boy Ray White. And then he shows off some, um, you know, golden ticket. Like, he's Willy Wonka and, and stuff, you know. So, uh, very interesting uh, overall. You know, we don't deserve the anime because it has this these deep-rooted, like, uh, comedic-type sections in it that I really, really appreciate. And I also really appreciate the fact that Ray, not only did he communicate to the whole entire... Flower Club, whatever they, the hell they were. He, he, not only did he communicate to them, like, I have no problem communicating really well with females. And I was like, that's right, my boy. My boy. My boy, right, right. Then he has the pigtail girl, and he's he knows that he's wooing and, and work. He's working the system. He's working her. You know what I mean? Then he has this Rebecca girl. I think Rebecca, is that her name? Purple hair girl. He, she was like, yo, let me touch your muscles. He's like, mm, touch, mm, mm, work these, uh, he's like, uh, work, work, work these out, mm, work them out every day. Uh, yeah, you're right, you touch a real man. And I'm like, that's my boy Ray right there. So I like that we finally have this character that is decently, you know, I'm not going to say well-written, decently written character, you know, with some, mm, some shaky plot, history right like i've I recently like the the past couple of anime that i've been watching over the past uh week uh because i've been playing nintendo switch you know i mean i've been playing a little pokemon you know you know maybe you can't see my sign over here a little pokemon scarly violet been doing some shiny hunting so it's like well what do you watch you know i need to find a dub anime that i don't have to read and just put it on past so i've been watching black summoner and last night i wrapped up a rewatch of spirit chronicles and you know those are I love both of them, both of those anime, but the characters are pretty, uh, they're, they're not really, like, well-written. And Ray kind of falls in that category to where he has, like, some PTSD of some, you know, things that he's been in. And maybe on paper, like manga, like on a manga panel, it's more, oh, he really has a deep history and lore. But when they show that it's cheesy, it's cheesy AF on, on anime, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just I have to, like, I know, you know, we know. It's just cheesy. So he has a weird PTSD crap that he has um, kind of pushing him forward, you know. And, like, he had a little PS PTSD moment here as well. But, you know, overall, to go back, uh, the things that occurred this episode, you know. Also, there was a, when they were working out, there was a jingle transition. I was like, Ooh. Uh, but basically, you know, he goes in. And his goal is to have fun. So he goes goes in and he joins the Adventurers Club, I think it was. Envi no, Environmental Research Club. Which, the Environmental Research Club is just like 80 buff dudes. Like, buff-ass dudes. And on top of it, I had so many questions. Because there was some men in that club who were clearly like in their 40s. Buff, Arno Schwarzenegger, get to the chopper. You know, but, like, they were definitely, like, you know, uh, they're, like, 40s. Like, what the hell are these these old men, older than the teachers, doing in this club? You know what I mean? Uh, but I laughed, nonetheless. I thought it was, it was so stupid that I thought it was hilarious. Again, I have a dumb sense of humor. If you have been around the channel long, uh, my sense of humor is just, it's very particular and stupid. Uh, then, you know, he shows them their gold hunter license. The The leader of that club also has one. They show off. They fill each other's muscles. Hilarious. Then he goes and he's like, I'm going to join another club. So he goes and meets that Rebecca girl who is the head of the, I don't, I'm going to call it the flower club, but like gardening, like the gardening club. And he's like, I have a strong interest in uh, flowers. 
Now, nah, 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 does he want to pick the flower of all 18 females that are up in that club? Hell yeah, you do. You know me, you going to go pick the rose petals. Uh, but, you know, regardless, he says he's in there for flowers. Let's believe him for now. But, you know, the main flower is Rebecca. And, uh, you know, she gets, he, he gets uh, cock-blocked by some lady or some beautiful young lady named Adina or Dinah Sarah. And they, they give him a task to essentially go and clean up this really, uh, really ugly area, like this, like this roof garden type area that's overridden with, with weeds and stuff, uh, which he does it. He learns about a sword tournament. He knocks that whole thing about, you know, he, we, they, they hint at we're going to get the sword tournament eventually. Uh, you know, he knocks that thing out the park. They give him a uh, A-OK. They give him a, a two thumbs up into the, um, into the gardening club. So he's part of the gardening club now. Then they announced the next thing, which was the classroom stuff, which I thought was really, really cool as well. And we have Alyssa. Um, right? Was it Alyssa? Yeah, yeah. We have Alyssa, who was the hoodie girl, who Ray put the moves on her, too. He grabbed her by the chin. He, like, put her chin up and, like, looked at her clothes. I'm like, that's my boy, Ray. Uh, and he, you know, he got her to join his club. Then he, then we had the princess who also joined, um, not, not the club, I'm sorry, uh, joined their group to go do this test. They have to go do like a forest test, like a, a, a test of like an adventurer's type testing. Uh, and then the, the princess joins him, macho roommate dude joins him. Uh, then they go out and they basically, uh, just, they manhandle this test provided by the, by the teacher. Then at the end of the episode, um, Right before, right before the end of the episode, I'm sorry, we learned that uh, Ray, by the principal, his past, his friend, you know, he, uh, for somebody who's been friends with before, she gives him a task, and uh, the task is to go in and um, locate a spy from the Empire, I think. So basically, there's a spy among them somewhere in the school. Uh, so that's his ultimate task right now, be while in school, is to go and figure this out for the, the principal to get them the F out, you know what I mean? But, you know low on the low uh and they like i said they go back to it they knocked out the whole entire uh test out of the park but right before that ray has to go and save the asshole dude the one of the kids and the asshole the ones who's like the ordinary the ordinary i hate him that guy uh so he has to go save him so he does uh that guy's still a dick about it but regardless he would about to get eaten by some plant ray should let him get eaten. I, I would let him get i would say to his friends they'd be like oh you don't need my help Go ahead, go, go go ahead, go ahead, bro. Uh, but you know he basically saves him, and then uh, right after the prince is like, "Yo, who, who, what, what are you, dude? Why are you so powerful?" Uh, Ray has a flashback of like you know some professor lady or something. She was like, "Tell tell the friends if you make good friends, you can let them know who you are. Otherwise, don't tell nobody." Uh, and we have that whole scene, and then we see the person who we're going to think is the spy transform the plane into some other monster, and we're going to get a cool episode next week. So overall, badass episode, hella freaking funny. Really enjoy Ray as a character. Again, he's he's densely written, but he is a cool character because of how he's... Um, how you would expect somebody like him to be, you know what I mean? Like, we get all these characters who are timid, and, um, you know, a girl... A girl's w a little bit of wind from her passing by, and he's melted. You know, he's not that. So I'm very excited to have a character like this, and uh, I, we just don't deserve to say it's really, it's really, it's way too good. So those are my thoughts. Maybe you don't agree. Maybe you hate it. Maybe you think it's trash. Sure, it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree, or otherwise. And my friends, I'll see you guys next week for more Ice Blade. Peace out.